Have you looked into model view and thought, what are these arrows for? Well, welcome to my channel. My name is George Woods, and today we're going to talk about cross filter direction. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have in our Power BI desktop file. We have a product table, a sales table, and a store table. We have two slicers, the store slicer, the product slicer, and then three visualizations. We have stores, sales, and products. Now let's go look at our model view. In our model view, we have two relationships, one between product and sales, and then one between store and sales. Now let's go back to our report view. If I choose the store slicer, you will see that the store table and the sales table will be filtered, but the product table will not be filtered. Let me show you. I choose garage deals, and then you can see the only thing that shows up are garage deals for stores and sales. Products did not change. If I undo the store slicer, and I choose one of the products, you'll see this time the product table and the sales table will filter, but the store table will not filter. So let's choose gum. And here we have it. We have the product table filtered, the sales table filtered, the store table did not change. Let me undo this. Now let's go take a look at our model view again and see what's happening. If we look at our relationships, you'll see that we have our arrows here and here and they both point to sales. If I click one of the lines, this will bring up our edit relationship window. And down here, we can see our cross filter direction. And this is set to a single. Let me go ahead and change this one to a both. I'll move this out of the way a little bit, just so you remember, it's only got one arrow pointing towards sales. When I click OK, you'll see we get a second arrow that's also pointing towards store now. Now let's go back to our report view. Now when I choose a store, the same thing's gonna happen as before. I choose garage deals, the store table filters, the sales table filters, product did not change. Let me undo this. However, when I choose a product now, let's choose that gum again, you're gonna see all three visualizations plus the slicer all filter. There we have it. Let me undo this, go back to the model view, and explain what's happening. When I choose a store, it has the arrow pointing to sales because of our relationship, but it does not have an arrow pointing to product, so product cannot be filtered. However, on the other end of that, when we choose a product, it can filter sales, and because we have that relationship set to both, it also can filter store. So let's go ahead and change this one to a both. We'll click OK. So now we have two arrows on each of our relationships. We'll go back to our report view. If I click a store slicer, all three tables and the product slicer are now filtered. If I undo this and choose gum again, all three tables plus our store slicer is filtered. And that's how cross-filter direction works. Remember, there may be some performance implications for marking that to both, so only do it when necessary. If you've liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button below. Also hit that subscribe button. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.